<laughs> for the record, I was convinced, Marvel, you missed an opportunity here. You should have released the trailer inside of another trailer, just tiny and in the corner so no one could see it and let people find it online. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Oh. What's going on, YouTube? G Gen, I'm here with Scythe X and Zuplex City. Big trailer drop today Ant Man and Quantumania. Ant Man and the Wasp in Quantumania. Sorry, I had to, uh, st I had to stumble <laughs> on something to start the uh, video. Uh, we were anxiously waiting for this trailer. I'm hyped, and I just kind of want to jump right into it, and then we could talk about the movie afterwards. You guys have the video uploaded. The worst football game ever. See, I didn't sit through, you know, thank God for the internet. I didn't sit through the game. I just kept checking and checking and checking. <laughs> for the record, I was convinced, Marvel, you missed an opportunity here. You should have released the trailer inside of another trailer, just tiny and in the corner so no one could see it and let people find it online. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, <laughs> you guys got it uh, loaded, ready to go? Always doing the most. This guy's I always know. doing the most. That's I know. Amazing. Hey, man. Hey, man. Absolutely you got to strive for, for the top, right? Absolutely. Hey, listen, I'll be I'll be okay if there's no kung fu whales in this one. <laughs> hey, a little Avatar two joke in a uh, fuck t fuck Avatar from doing over two million dollars. All right, I'm ready to go. You guys ready to go? Yep, ready when you are. Let's do this. Three, two, one, play. You're an interesting man, Scott Lang. You're an Avenger. You have a daughter, but you've lost a lot of time. Like Damn. You. We can help each other with that. The music is just phenomenal. Who are you? I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. What's that? Ooh. Time. You knew the blue was going to be like some sort of mask. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. You cannot trust him. I don't care who this guy is. I just lost so much. Modok. Is that Modok? Did we see him? Give us a second. Did I miss chance. it? Woo! This easy for you. you will bring He's like the queen life. of the quantum room. Or everything you call a life will end. They better show mode off. I could have sworn I seen him. This is all my fault. So you cool. You may not want her to watch this. We had a deal. Yo, he's losing this game, this movie. I'm telling you. There he is, Modok. Oh, That's there Modoc. he is. You thought you could win. He had armor on. Ooh. Oh. I don't have to win. We both just have to lose. Yo, he's fucking him up. Yeah, I'm big sorry, time. Cassie. Yes. Dude, I love it. Dude, let's nothing go. else after. Oh my god! I Talk about being hyped. Talk about all right, being hyped. All right. Yo, that yes, that shit was crazy. Uh, Dude, where, where was it? That looks. I mean, every when they were has walking better onto better. the platform, I could have sworn I saw him right, in, like towards the beginning. Yeah, I had the little scrubby scrub. Let me lower the volume here so it's I can uh, find it now. scrub through. That's sick, man. Every trailer has wild. just gotten more and more intense with this movie. Every single one has just given us a little bit more of Kang, a little bit more action, a little bit more You're intensity. seeing like a, an angrier Kang every trailer. Like you just, it's nice to yeah, see that, him actually throw it down. That is Modoc walk, uh, walking with them on the platform. He's in the back. Oh, you found it? Yeah. What time was that? Uh, 55. Go to 57, you get a decent shot of him. Oh, yeah, look at that. Dude, that looks like a legit MODOK, too. Like, everyone was worried after yeah. seeing the uh, the pop. Yeah, that's... The yeah, that pop. is... That's full-blown MODOK. 
That's full blown yeah. Modoc. I'm, ju- yeah. I'm, ju- I'm judging from just his little eyebrow there that that's Corey Stoll. That's a uh, uh, what's it? Yeah, name? I mean, that's the what they're saying one. that it's supposed to be the yellow jacket, right? Can you get a better view? I don't think so. Oh, uh, it, yeah, that's definitely his face. Like you could just tell almost, that's, right? Yeah, that's his face, one hundred percent. So what does that mean? Kang like kind of caught him in the quantum realm and took his head and put it in a machine. I mean, maybe. I, uh, oh wait, go to wow. fifty. So if you just go forward a little bit with fifty-seven seconds, you get a pretty good shot of his whole face, just besides one eye. It doesn't look like yeah. him there, but it's clearly CG, right? So I mean, it's, you know, who knows if it's going to look exactly like him? I was hoping for Pat and Oswald. Hey, maybe he's doing the voice. You never know. That would have been a good way to tie crazy. in that show, though. That's crazy. Yeah. And then later that's on, really you, you get a, I guess he's in his battle armor, his MODOK battle armor at 146. Yeah, I guess. Go to 146. That's just a clear shot. Of, that's him from the Funko Pop. That's him in full yeah, that's the armor. Funko Pop version, right? Yeah, that's just wild so looking, good. though. That's crazy. I mean, based, this off, is gonna be nuts. based off of this trailer so, alone, the visuals just look unbelievable, man. Absolutely insane. So it looks like that he's making a deal with Kang, huh? Right. I guess to, I mean, what he's trying to do is gain those five years back with his daughter. I guess. So she starts off the yeah. movie in jail, it looks like. Some sort of juvenile detention. Yeah. She was in jail. Probably got in yeah. trouble stealing some like yeah, tech struggling. piece or something. Well, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, well, kinda... she's helping him build that like, like beacon that sends a signal into the quantum realm. So, maybe, yeah, maybe that's why. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, she was stealing some piece of tech from somewhere and following in her father's footsteps a little bit. Maybe I gotta watch this yeah. end though, where Kang is just fucking Ant Man up. So obviously, Kang looks legit in this to be a big villain. Hell yeah. This is what they needed, though, right? Because you you need you just go just... to go to two oh seven and oh, just man. look at him. Two oh seven, insane. They got. I mean, yeah, that's wild. Talk about comic comic accurate costume, right? The, bl- yeah. the blue face, the whole outfit is just phenomenal. But this yeah. is what they need. See to now, do. like uh, what I'm wondering is, is where is he getting this army from? Hmm. He could get it from anywhere. It looks in time, like right. He... I mean, I guess, but like, are they all Kang variants? Like, uh, is it? I don't know. You know. I don't think so because when they get to the when they get to the quantum realm in the previous trailer, they're surrounded by other random like beings and species that are also in the quantum realm. It's not the greatest shot, but if you go to one fifty, you get a shot of Kang all torn up and beat up. It looks like Scott Lang actually puts up a fight. Scott and Team Ant Man. Well, at the end there, like when when he's uh, when he says he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to win. They just both have to lose. Yeah, it looked like he was he was racking them up pretty good. What do we think? Uh, does the Scott Lang die this movie? I I see. I don't know, man. Like I I've been thinking no. that for a while, but I it's tough to say because you can't kill off every original adventure. I think he should. And I, I could I could give you one reason why. Why? This is Kang's Infinity War. The, the way Infinity War opened up was Thanos coming out, killing Loki, killing Heimdall, beating the fuck out of the Hulk. Now we have the next big bad fighting Ant Man. Like, does anybody really respect Ant Man as this phenomenal like hero? So you can easily have Kang kill him. You can have him do it in a but way I that's feel brutal, like... and that sets the stage for the kind of shit Kang is going to be bringing. It would to the make, table. If they're gonna kill him. I feel like it would happen in the Avengers Kang movie. No, that's that's the. See, end like, game, I feel like right? I feel like you got to keep him alive to start the like. We need Kang's coming. We need to like. But that's you got his daughter. You got Hank. You got uh, what's her name? Hank's wife. Yeah, but yeah, Hank what's maybe that you got Wasp. Hank might die. Well, Hank like, might die. The old people kind of have to die. I mean, you know. Yeah, Hank's wife, I guess. Uh, I can't think of her name for some reason, but she can at least survive because she was in the quantum realm for so long. So who knows what kind of yeah. power she has? But Hank is not. Yeah, she years like old. knows exactly where to go and everything. Yeah. My <laughs> thing she is, she knows what to fly. Yeah, it's more interesting to put Scott in the Hulk role 
from Infinity like War. Like have him get his ass beat and then have to warn everybody. Have him get like crushed and then have to like be like, you guys don't understand. He's coming. Kang's coming. Like we need to we need to put something back together. That's not like, we true. We need a team again. That could be you know because um, like, like a joke too, right? Yeah, like he's like, telling everybody how tough Kang is, and everyone's like, yeah, but I mean, you're Ant Man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm not yeah. worried about you, bro. Like he goes to Sam and Sam's like, all right, Tic Tac, relax, you know? Or he goes to like, like um, you know, Thor and Thor's like, you couldn't beat a Kang. I was supposed to be worried about it. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. But I think, uh, I think he, he has to live in my eyes. Cause like, he's gotta be the one. Cause they're not going to take anybody else seriously. They're not going to listen like his daughter. Yeah. But they would listen to hope. She was there during the game. Eh, you know, she's got, I the guess. Skills. I guess I think it's just stronger going from Scott though. I know, but I just the the one complaint that I've always had is that nobody dies. Like no one ever dies in the MCU. No he no everybody person. dies. Everybody in the dies MCU. in the MCU. No, no big person <laughs> everybody died. Everybody dies. Iron Man died. That's it. Even Captain America didn't Every die. Every villain we've ever had died. Well, villains died. Black, Black Widow died. Black yeah, Widow died. Yeah, that was a prequel. What do you mean it was a prequel? Oh, she no, died thinking, in an endgame. Thinking, yeah, but that was she did it herself. That's not. I want you need <laughs> oh you God. need villains. You need like Thanos to kill. To Gam- kill. Gamora died. Yeah, and that's Gamora a big deal. Die. That was a big deal. That's yeah. one person that that a villain killed. We just Heimdall named like five. And Loki. No, three of them. Three people died that a villain killed. Heimdall, Loki, Black Heimd- Widow. Heimdall wanted to quit. Nobody cared. Iron about him. Man. Iron Man killed himself. Every villain. Black Widow killed herself. What villain killed Every... heroes? <laughs> like, you're saying. getting pretty specific here. Because uh, you went from no Thanos, one ever Thanos dies. killed half of them. Well, he <laughs> snapped them away. Technically, yeah. And they came back. So, And then we knew they were coming back, so it doesn't really even count. The only ones he but killed were Loki that. and I'll Heimdall. Give I'll give you that. We did know that they were yeah, coming we back. Were coming back. <laughs> imagine they never came back. Like, Yeah, right. Well, t- imagine we got the end game and they just Widow. never came back. We'd be like, yeah. oh, what? What do we do like, now? Like, never came back. Ne- Nebula died, but to herself, so that still doesn't really count. You're uh, the you're villain pre- Nebula. Your precursors for her, for what counts and what doesn't count for Marvel we, deaths. Is, we need a villain to kill a hero. I don't know why that's so tough. <laughs> a villain, kill a hero. That's it. Like, that's not that's not hard. There's, there's no, there's no stakes. Like, there's no stakes. The villains never kill the heroes. I mean, I feel like there. I feel like there is stakes, though. No, nah, not really. After thirty movies, after thirty movies, you basically know every hero. You know they're gonna survive. Get I excited, mean, we do, we really don't know that, though. You guys are naive. T'Challa died. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. It wasn't a villain, <laughs> but I'll give you that. One. <laughs> it was cancer, or well, you know, an unknown, uh, an unknown disease. They didn't even they didn't even say what it was. Just saying. You know what I mean? Act like no one ever dies. That was <sighs> that was a necessity because, because the actor <laughs> passed away. So they were like, "Oh shit!" You know. I don't know, man. I I just feel like um, let him see now. This hope. let him take her out. That'll be making even more emotional for Scott. <laughs> Listen, that's not gonna happen. No, nah, I know they can't. Kill but this kid. for me, like this sets up. This gives us more of an like from this trailer alone. I got more of an idea of like where they're heading with this. Hell like because yeah. if. If Ant Man fights him, gets crushed, all this shit happens. What I mean, we don't really know what's going to happen in that end. But if he's the one that comes back and he's just like, "Yo," well, he starts we, hunting. Let me ask you. you this know, question. he starts looking for everybody. What do we think happens here? We think Ant Man essentially helps Kang get the army, thinking that you know, basically he thinks Kang's going to help him regain his time with his daughter. And in doing, he's so, got to help him do army. something. He's got to help him do something, right? And because it obvi- it's obvious from this trailer that they make a deal, yeah. Kang backstabs him, and whatever that deal that they made, we also don't know if this is Kang the Conqueror. Like we're assuming. I think we've been told though, right? I, I could be wrong, but I think we've we've been flat out told that this is Kang I don't, the Conqueror, like the official. Yeah, I think it is Kang the Conqueror. Big bad. No, we MCU. were we were told that Ant Man Quantumania leads us to Kang the Conqueror. Right, so right. for all we know, whatever happens here is what. That's what I'm saying. Like they, conquer. they're using a lot of like, you know, shifty wording. Yeah, that's the <laughs> yeah. MCU for you. You know, so I don't know if th- maybe this is a different variant. Like, I, I, I can't wait for this movie, man. One, I'm so excited for this movie. One thing you still notice if you go to 44 seconds is all the same, like the ring, um, image from Shang Chi, the the Ten Rings. 
all that same kind of like mm-hmm. energy and technology is what's being used here. So clearly there's a connection that, as far as those two movies are. Well, concerned. that's what that's what all the like breakdowns and everything has been yeah. saying that that's where all the connections lie. Is, so, it's almost is... like too obvious now. I mean, not that it's a bad yeah. thing. Yeah. That's a I thing. called that out like the first time I seen it. Yeah. It's like yeah. that's like the ten ring thing. It, it looked yeah. I had to like the same symbols and shit. Well, it seems that, you know, the Ten Rings, Kamala Khan's bangle, and the Celestials are all attached to this somehow. somehow. Right. So all the realms are connected in one way or another. Can I just tell yeah, you how much I love like... that we got an accurate live action Modoc? Like it just looks so... it's fucking wild. I can't. It looks so good. <laughs> I never would have thought that we were gonna got. And he looks like man. he's gonna be a big part of the movie. He's like Kang's like general. Yeah, I mean, it, well, yeah, he looks like he's like Kang's like uh, like underboss, right? Yeah, yeah. Just crazy That's floating with the purple legs hanging out. I mean, like it's ex- it's like straight off of the, it's str- the floating of the head. Like, unbelievable. I never thought we'd see Modok in a movie. The whole visual so of like funny. giant Ant Man just like tearing to shreds just looks good everything looks good. And, i mean and that was that was like a thousand scott variants yeah i guess so they wanted oh to, there's wanted a to million ant mans running around in there yeah splitting apart that's what it looks like so what that? I, like, what's happening there where with the with the million uh, ant mans like kang is just showing him all these different realities that he can bring him back to i guess i, I i'm right. not really sure Cause there's there's go to like one seventeen. It's cool because it's a bunch of ant mans, but it looks like the visual when you get all the ants together. Yeah, climbing up. Yeah. Yep, when we're climbing yep. up on, on top of each other and everything like that. So it's an interesting idea, but it looks like they're all shrunk. Right. It looks like they're, what are they trying almost, to uh, climb to though? A time out of, of whatever sort, maybe? hole they're in, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Or is that the um that the device Kang is using? Wasn't he like building the device or something like that? Um, not in this trailer. I didn't notice that. No, uh, I think it was in the previous trailer. He had like some sort of device that he like put into a thing. I'm wondering if like. He shrunk down and like multiplied to like destroy like? this device from like the inside out. Well, it looks like so. If you go to on that same scene that you guys are looking at, go to like one night one twenty. Uh, Scott is about to shoot one of his discs into that, so that must be some sort of device that Kang's using, and he's trying to maybe destroy it so Kang can't do whatever he wants to do with it. It's, what is that writing on it though? Uh, what at one eighteen or one nineteen? Yeah, one nineteen. Like, what are those? Have we seen these symbols before? I bet you that's like celestial, uh, some sort of celestial language, like the same language <laughs> on the. I don't. If you remember from Eternals, they, when they showed that like crypt with all the old Eternals that had been decommissioned, essentially, there was like writing all over that too. I wonder if this it is gold, that. and everything gold apparently is eternal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wonder if whatever happens here is somehow communicated to the Eternals and that kind of makes them enter the fray a little bit a little bit more I should say I honestly Maybe. don't think we're going to get the Eternals um, back on Earth anytime soon I think we're getting Galactus first as like some sort of Fantastic Four threat I don't know if it's going to be in any of the phases we're looking at now I don't I don't think so because they're pretty dead set on like Kang Dynasty right into Secret Wars true, true. which is probably going to be Doom if all the rumors are true, is that yeah. Doom looks like all Doom his soldiers, Secret Wars, all his soldiers have like this, like light blue, yeah, helmet. visor. They all look like Avatar. I mean, I'm, yeah. they might just say that that's like a breathing device or something like that. Also, like we maybe overthinking maybe. it a bit too much. Like they might just like say that that's that's how they. Breathe because they're in the quantum realm. Are all the soldiers actual? Are they other Kangs that he just convinced to fight for him? I don't know. I'm trying to get a good I mean, shot of them. It could be if we're getting a million Ant Mans, right? Kang could have multiplied it's himself. A major battle. Uh, in the shot with Modok, there's a good uh, shot of the of his army or of his henchmen, I should say. Where's the scene with them walking on the platform? 
Yeah, but you can't see their face. Yeah. I don't know, but the way Kang's talking in this is yeah. wild. Jonathan Major's just killing it. Everything he's done so far, he's just killing it. Yeah. Oh. I'm amped. I'm amped I'm to see him pull out some of those the boxing skills he learned on Scott Pym. <laughs> Scott Lang. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be so sick! So I can't good. wait. This is gonna be good. I feel like this is gonna be. I mean, listen, this is like, isn't this the first movie of Phase Five? Technically, it is. Yes, this so, is the first movie. Of Phase this five. is hopefully the first movie of Marvel getting their uh, shit that's, together. That's what I was just gonna say. With all the negativity on Phase Four, it's like they have to knock this one out of the park, and it's introducing the bad guy that we're gonna be following now for the next. I don't know, twelve movies, fifteen couple, movies, couple phases. Oh, so, I mean, yeah. like, I the other thing too is. I know this is introducing Kang. I know Kang is going to be the next big bad, bad, but not every movie or prop or show that we're going to be dealing with from here on out has something to do with Kang either, though. I do think I don't. I don't think like, like I highly doubt that like Captain America: New World yeah, Order, for was, instance. That's exactly what I was thinking. Is gonna, too. Or Thunderbolts is going to have anything to do with Kang. Well, I think that I don't it, even think Secret Invasion is going to have anything to do with Kang. No, but it's it's going to be like the the. MCU that we all loved, you know what I mean? Like Captain America didn't lead directly to Thanos. It yeah. was Thor and and the Guardians of the Galaxy and all that stuff. But he, and eventually there were just callbacks. So we're gonna get the same yep. thing. I don't think. Uh, that, uh, I, agree. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping because because the way they were making it sound was like once Kang shows up, it's just like everything's Kang from here on out. Technically, it could be only because Kang shows up February <laughs> of this year. By the end of next year, right? Is it 2024? No, 2025. I guess is when. We get uh, the Kang Dynasty, right? The early 2025. I think so. So you don't have much time. Is that when we get Avengers Kang Dynasty? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, with with the next two phases, essentially, we're getting what four or five movies, four movies this year, four movies next year. On top of what are we? What are we getting this year? We're getting Ant Man, Guardians, Guardians Three, Guardians Three, Guardians, the Marvels, the Marvels, and then Marvels, uh, and, and then Thunderbolts. Is December? No, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Oh, because Captain America is before Thunderbolts. Then maybe Captain America's this year. I'll tell you right now. Hold on. It might be Captain America. I think they're filming it. I think we're only getting three this year. We're getting so Ant Man, obviously Guardians, the Marvels. Oh no, Captain America is yeah May 2024. Yeah, we're only getting three this year. That's bullshit. I want more. Damn oh, it. we were just talking about how they were no, doing too much. Now you're like, oh, and now we're not getting four. Fuck that, these well, guys. Because they got to scale back the shows and focus more on the movies again. Yeah. Well, what shows are we getting though? Let's see. So wait, uh, Captain America is May oh, of next year. Ones. Thunderbolts is July of next year. Stop Blade is September of next year. <laughs> these, now, remember, that's just what's announced. Shows though. have been bad, man. They've been bad. They have not been bad. Yes, they well, have. You want to know what shows we're getting? I can tell you that too. Um, remember the movies that I just I just said though are all what's been announced. There's still some open slots that they haven't announced the movies yet. Everyone thinks Deadpool three is gonna be one of them. So like there's gonna be another. Well, I think two Deadpool movies. three got a date. Deadpool That's three got a date. Uh, September of next year, right? Yeah. Like in Phase six is where there was a lot of open. Oh, you know what? Deadpool mm-hmm. probably took the place of Blade because Blade was was originally. Yes, because Blade got pushed back. So for television series, we got there's a What If season two, Secret Invasion. Loki season two, which that's gonna have a lot to do with Kang, Ironheart, yeah. yeah. Echo, Agatha, Covenant of Chaos, Daredevil, Born Again. We're Ooh. getting all that this year. Not this year. That's just between this and next year. What are we getting this year? This year, it's we're what definitely if, getting Secret Invasion this year. What if season two? Yeah, Secret, Secret Invasion, Invasion, Loki. It says Ironheart and Echo are scheduled for late 2023. And then it says Ironheart Agatha. and Echo. That's what it says. And but I, I, Ironheart's probably yeah. going to be pushed back. Echo was already, I know, was already nah. filmed. So Echo was already filmed. Yeah, I think Echo's already filmed. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, e- Echo was already filmed. Ironheart hasn't been filmed yet. So, or at least I think it started maybe, but it's not finished. Um, but then Agatha and Daredevil are both next year, 2024. So one of those yeah. shows will be pushed to next year. Probably Ironheart, I would think. That would make the most sense, right? Yeah. Unless unless they push Echo because that coincides with Daredevil. Yeah, I could see that. And plus, you they might need Echo Jeremy Renner right for some Daredevil uh, for yeah. some. Uh, oh, that's true. Too. I don't mean we don't know when died, so. we don't know what he's supposed to be coming back for. Yeah. So. Oh. 
I heard they're reworking the entire Thunderbolts thing too. I heard that too, but I wonder why. Just because of the negative feedback for the fact that yeah, the Thunderbolts because everybody team hated the dumbest Thunderbolts lineup of all time. I don't think they're changing the lineup. I think they might change the story, are. but I don't know. Maybe they'll add some people. No, I think they're completely they're... changing the lineup. Marvel doesn't really so. do that, though. They don't really like, yeah, they adjust I don't think a little so. bit, but they don't adjust. But they don't swing the pendulum like that. You know what I mean? My thing is, I I don't, I don't think, think that that's ever gonna that. wind up being the Thunderbolts team. I think they're gonna pivot, make that the team that fights the Thunderbolts, and give us a proper Thunderbolts team. Well, that could be. That could be. Yeah, I think you're just hoping on that one. You I mean, know. it would make the most sense, to be honest with you. You know, I just don't the, see him changing it that drastically. There they're probably there shifting gears person, because they have Harrison Ford now, and not. There isn't true. one person that was like, "Oh, I can't wait to see this lineup of the Thunderbolts." Hey, as long as they all kill some heroes, I'll be happy well, with it. Even us, though. I don't know. Anyway, we're, we're getting off topic here. This is about Ant Man Quantum. <laughs> are. So we'll talk in the I mean, we're room. off topic, but we're not we're not really because it's like Ant Man starts this whole yeah, thing off. Well, that's so. true, actually. Yeah. We'll keep uh, Ant Man uh, needs to deliver. I'm yes. just saying that much. It yeah. needs to deliver. It definitely needs to deliver. It definitely needs to deliver. For a lot of reasons. As as like kind of like an apology for phase four and then <laughs> As yeah. just a, like, look, we get, we got it under control. Don't worry. And uh, Jonathan Majors, I feel like Jonathan Majors, though, he can't miss right now, and he's just a great get for the MCU, and I'm excited to yeah, see. Yeah, I agree. You know, I just hope I that he yeah, shows you, up more You can often. hide a bad movie with a good villain. Yeah, so 100%. If the villain is, is good, man, then 100%. It, it, it can gloss over some of the problems. Yeah, we'll, look we'll at the Dark um, Knight. We'll get more yeah, into exactly. this. <laughs> in future theater rooms and MVPs and whatnot. Let us know what you guys think of the uh, trailer. Uh, dissect it as much as you can and uh, join us on any of the live streams for future uh, discussions because yeah. I'm sure we're going to go deep on this. And uh, join us for the week, the Tuesday after Ant-Man comes out. We will be doing a hardcore deep dive. <laughs> uh, so hardcore. Go see the movie and come watch and then come join us for the conversation. We'll talk to you guys later. Like and subscribe on all the different socials and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Deuce. Deuce.